god. So the struggle we have right now is that we are being careful. But it's a, I did it! It has saved my life. <laughs> They always make it seem so easy. I feel like my dad would be so proud of the woman I'm becoming. Let me think about this. Oh, am I gonna have diarrhea right now? You're so dramatic. Well, yes I am. Okay. All right, okay, here we go. We're gonna try one more time. We're gonna try one more time before we call the boyfriend, okay. <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna be a brilliant idea or a not really good idea. Was working in the garage, by the way, so you're gonna hear a lot of noise. We're both working on our cars today. And I had the idea of buying this bread box on Amazon to add vertical storage into the Jeep. It's complete. How cute is this? I would find a way to secure it here. I think I'm probably gonna get like really strong magnets or Velcro or I will just drill directly into this board. How cute is this? Now we have some storage. Oh wait, I forgot to put these. <gasps> it's just open in the back. <laughs> How did I miss that? <laughs> now I have to completely undo these. know about these find it at your local Trader Joe's they don't have it at every single one I've been looking for these and finally the other day I went to a different Trader Joe's that actually had it it's so good it has tofu and vegetables in it whoa pretty legit huh she's hot when she runs and eats mm. Today, we are finally replacing my washer fluid reservoir. We're not replacing that today. We're oh, I'm sorry. The coolant. The, the coolant, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Don't listen to me. Because this one doesn't have a lid and it's looking pretty beat up. So then, bought this one on Amazon. I'm gonna take it off and take off that hose. That. Oh, is it supposed to be like that? No. <laughs> Definitely not. It's, it's like sludge. Rusty. Not a nasty stuff. Ooh. So we need to go buy coolant. Yeah. Shouldn't we have bought the coolant first? Just so that. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? I didn't think about that. So we're gonna grab that tank in the middle here that kind of pops in and, and dump it into the new tank once we get that installed. Guess what just came in? The Jeep still has its stock headlights and they're very dim. So I ordered these. KC 7 inch headlights H4 halogen. I like the kind of like traditional old look. I know LEDs will give me much better light, but I feel like that makes it look a little modern for my taste. So I'm gonna test out these halogen ones and see how it goes. That's what I'm gonna install today. It says that it should take less than an hour, but knowing myself, I'm gonna give myself two. Look at you two. Navi, are you so happy because Echo's here? I'm babysitting Echo again, not because his parents are out of town, um, but because I just missed him. <laughs> I really love him and Navi loves him as well. So we just borrow our friend's dog every two weeks or so. Okay, this is a very awkward angle. It looks like it would make sense to take off this first. That's the new one, and this was the old one. It looks a lot clearer, although I'm gonna miss this one. It's very vintage looking, you know? But it's definitely brighter in comparison to mm. the old ones. Good morning! It is a new day, and I have a package that came in. I thought I had consulted Wa about this, but when I mentioned to him that I ordered this, he was like, what? When did I, when did I say we were gonna do that? 
But anyways, we're doing it. I've been wanting to get just like a curtain for this area. It sounds very farmhousey cute and I thought it would suit our kitchen. Today I'm gonna take the Jeep to the mechanic. I don't know if maybe the antifreeze slash coolant, whatever, is supposed to be orange because from my research, some are orange and some are blue, some are green. Mine is orange, so it also looks like rust. So I'm not sure if my radiator is getting really rusty and needs a flush. Anyway, gonna bring it to the mechanic today. Before I do that, I'm gonna hang this up. Let's see if it's count. I have this extra tension rod. You can just get one of these from Target. It's a nice way to hang things with these tension rods so that you don't have to put a hole in your wall. <gasps> She's cute! I like it. I love it! So this toe box is just unusually large. Usually they're supposed to only be a few inches like that, but we have almost a feet over here. So having this little curtain helps cover it. Cute, I like it. I have to pick up distilled water to flush the radiator. With everything in place, open the drain plug slowly to drain the old fluid. Shepard, this is Harry. And then open the bottle of that. Who's in here? And open the whole thing up to this water. And I'll let Yeah, so a couple of notes here. As soon as you're done draining it, plug it back up. Also, when you're draining it, pull the radiator cap off. And then when you put the, when you close it back up and you're ready to fill it up, and then as far as the water goes, you're going to fill it until it literally reaches the top and it can't take any more. Okay. Give your hose a squish or two, just get the bubbles out. Got it. Thank you so much. Alrighty. Thanks. thanks bye. My mechanic is the best. <laughs> All right, we can do this. We can do this. Last time a few of you commented on me not wearing safety goggles, which I knew I should have. I just didn't have any. This time around, we are being careful. All right. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> drips. That means I'm getting close. Annoying. I, I'm getting closer. I feel it. Okay. That got messier than I expected. Good thing I put the cardboard there, but some of the coolant got on the concrete, so I'm gonna have to like really clean that up later. This stuff is super toxic. I'm glad I got it open. Just gonna wait for it to drain. Alright, no, right, I guess you know, we just blast the heater. Wait 15 minutes, or I'll just do 10 minutes for now, and then watch the temperature gauge, and hopefully nothing overheats. I'm proud of myself. Never thought I would change my radiator fluid. I thought I was only gonna get as far as changing my, my oil. That was about it, you know? <laughs> That's great and I learned a new skill. After I installed the lights yesterday, I didn't show you guys. They're pretty bright for halogens. It was a pretty easy install and it gives me a good amount of light now. Round two. Gonna do the flushing process again. Let's see how this works. This was nine dollars. <laughs> it 
works. Yeah. I did it. I'm just gonna work around this piece because it doesn't need to be a perfect job. But I need to also get up and under here, which is kind of hard to get to. I don't want to deal with like removing all of these bolts. So I'm just gonna try to like stick this inside. It's called Celeste. I'll link this below if you're interested. So you can see that I put it over there on the left side. Now I'm gonna add it right here on top of the kill mat. Okay, so the struggle we have right now is I cannot get the door back on. <sighs> but it's okay, it's okay. We're gonna try one more time. We're gonna try one more time before we call the boyfriend, okay. <laughs> Also, this light, I've talked about it in one of my camping videos, but this light is the best purchase I've made on Amazon. It has saved my life working out here in the dark, okay? Ta -da! Now, swore. Oh. Okay, it's like super easy to do this side. As I get here, it doesn't want to go back on. I just that. And I just need it to go over there. Oh! Oops, sorry. <laughs> it's a little crooked. Is it? It kind of looks weird. Oh, wait. <laughs> I didn't get it. What is going on? Why can't I get the door back on? Here, I'm going to help. We got it. Good morning, y'all. I got injured yesterday from climbing. This was probably one of the worst spots to hit your hand because it's right at my knuckles and every time I bend my hand, it hurts. <laughs> so I'm taking a little break from working on the Jeep today. There hasn't been anything super exciting this week besides me working on the Jeep. I know I haven't vlogged just candidly like this in a while, so hopefully, hopefully we like these videos. The vlogs that I enjoy the most from people are the ones that are very just candid, casual, it just feels like catching up with a friend, you know? I've been really loving these milk makeup sticks. They sent these to me and I love them. The formula is super, super creamy. It just glides on, it feels good. I love how compact it is, so it's not taking up space in my makeup bag. This one I'm using is the contour stick in the shade Toasted. And I'm also using this blush from Milk. Um, it's in the shade Enigma. I just take it on a brush. It's happening. Oh shoot, I should blend out the bronzer too. What? That's what I do. I love this on the cheeks. It's very natural. So this is a little trick that I learned on YouTube. I just put a little bit of like a brick colored eyeshadow. I'm using, this one is from like a K-beauty brand, Raw Man. This palette is the Better Than Palette in 02 Mahogany Garden. And I'm using the shade, is that brick? A burn, Bernie Brown, Bernie Brown. And then you just pop it right here on the outer edge of your eye, not the entire thing. It's super subtle, 
but I do think like it makes my eyes look cuter if that makes sense. So recently, this is how I've been styling my hair. My hair has gone so long and I love it. I think I'm gonna keep it long for a while. Although I really love it, it does get in the way because it's so long, um, but I don't wanna put it all the way up because then it gives me a headache. So I've been doing this half up situation and I've been really enjoying it. And you guys know me, all my hairstyles are very messy looking. I hardly ever use a hairbrush. So, the messier the better, okay? <laughs> I just do that. I just tie it up like so, make a little bun. So that's what I do. Okay, now I want to share with you some product empties. I've been saving these bottles so that I can share it with you guys. This is what I've been really loving. I love the brand Beauty of Joseon. They're a K-beauty brand, super affordable too. This ginseng essence water, this is my second bottle. I love this. It has ginseng root water and niacinamide in it. And every time I use it, I just feel like my skin drinks it up. It feels so hydrated and the overall tone of my skin just looks healthy. Yeah, ginseng water, you guys. And then another product from Beauty of Joseon. Love this Relief Sun Rice and Probiotics um, sunscreen. I use this every single day. It's my favorite sunscreen I have ever used. It comes out white like so, but when you blend it out, it just feels like skincare. Does not smell like sunscreen at all. Doesn't feel like sunscreen. It just feels like a extra moisturizer. I've gone through three of these. Absolutely, absolutely love this brand. And then I have two of these cleansers that are completely empty as well. This is the best cleanser. Like. I have really simplified my skincare routine. Most of my life, I've just thought cleansers are cleansers. You know, you just rinse it off. It's only on your face for like one minute at most. But this cleanser, I'm telling you, is absolutely worth it. It's great for people with acne, great for people with oily skin, but also great for people with dry skin because I have oily skin and Wa has dry, but we both love this cleanser. So definitely get this if you're looking for something that is gentle, but leaves your skin feeling super soft, hydrated, and cleansed. I know I said I wasn't going to work on the Jeep today, but I ordered these new um, windshield wiper sprayers. Is that what they're called? My sprayer does not work. I bought a replacement on Amazon, so we're just going to give it a try. Okay, so that's my sprayer. Here's the before. <laughs> Did you see that? It like tried to spray something, but it barely came out. Okay. I swear, every time you watch the YouTube videos, they always make it seem so easy. Nice. I think, I think I'm supposed to pop this part off. This will wiggle out. Ta -da! I feel like my dad would be so proud of the woman I'm becoming. <laughs> uh, my dad actually watches all my videos and he'll always like call me after he watches them. This just brings back all these memories of when I was younger and my dad He's such a handyman, he fixes like everything. I think that generation of men usually just know how to fix everything. <laughs> when I was younger, my dad would always like teach me or try to teach me repair things or like work on the house with him. And I mean, I would say compared to my sisters, I had a bit more of an interest towards these things, but I truly never thought that in my adult years, I was gonna buy a 20 some year old car and fix it up myself. It's pretty fun though. Let's see. Is the washer supposed to go on the outside or on the inside? Let me think about this. Okay, this doesn't fit well. Ugh. Of course, there's always something. Okay, moment of truth. That only took less than 10 minutes. I think I just need to aim them higher. Oh, how could I aim them higher? It works though. It's spraying a bit low, but. 
Okay, so the next thing I need to figure out is how to aim these higher up because they're kind of spraying this area, like the lower half of the windshield. Yay, it works though. Very exciting day today because we got my new fog lights. I decided to stay on brand and went with the KC um, highlights again. Anywho, that's what I'm installing today. It's supposed to rain today, but I'm hoping it doesn't so I can just get this done. They look the same. Yeah. <laughs> the way. Yeah. Oh, they're, they're a bit brighter. Uh, maybe like a tiny bit, yeah. Tiny bit. Okay. But they look a lot better. They look a lot better, yeah. California girl and it shows. I don't know how to deal with this rain, man. It's been raining for like a whole day straight yesterday and it's gonna rain all day today. And of course, I have to bring the Jeep back to the mechanic again. I've been having this ongoing issue with my transmission mount and it just makes a lot of noise. Every time I'm idling and drive, it makes a lot of noise. And I just brought it in um, last week, I think, oh my God. Oh, am I gonna have diarrhea right now? I just had a coffee with milk and um, oh, uh, uh I feel it coming. Okay, I need to go take a poop first. Yeah, my transmission mount just keeps making noises. I don't know if this is just like a common Jeep thing. So if any of you have the same problem, please share if you have any solutions. We've already replaced the transmission mount twice, each time with a different brand transmission mount and it's still making noise. It is fine initially, but after I drive it around for a little bit, um, it just starts rattling again, so why? I don't know, but bless my mechanic's heart because every time something's wrong with it, they take a look at it immediately. So that's what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Now let's... Assess the damage. Okay. Let's see if it's wet in here. This is the spot that gets wet in the Jeep. Oh! Oh wow! The cover did well. Okay. I know some of y'all are gonna be like, you're so dramatic. Well, yes I am. I ain't denying it. I'm hella dramatic when it comes to the rain. I'm from California, born and raised. I don't know how to deal with this. Alright. Okay. <sighs> Damn, it is pouring. The good thing is, nothing is leaking. <laughs> Woohoo! Alright, okay, here we get. There. Temporarily glue in place, so we'll hold for now and just, Here, put a little more here. This is just gonna hold it in place until you get a new one. So okay. It's, it's a little cold. Okay, thank though. you. Hopefully, it can help out. I am back and still drinking that coffee with milk that gave me diarrhea. But we're not gonna waste this coffee. And luckily we work from home. So if we're gonna have to have diarrhea, we're gonna have to have diarrhea. Okay, well, the Jeep is gonna stay at the mechanics for the afternoon. They're gonna try to figure out what's going on with it. Hopefully they figure it out because, uh, yeah, this has been an ongoing thing. If any of you have any insight on why my transmission mount is making noises when I'm idling, Please let me know. Last time they fixed it, the noise went away, and then as I was driving, it happened again. So when I put it on neutral or when I'm in park, it's fine. Um, it's only when I'm on drive and I'm idling at a stop sign or a stoplight, that's when the transmission mount will rattle and it's pretty noisy. So maybe it's just a Jeep thing. Maybe it's just a thing that will never get fixed. I don't know. But yeah, that's that. And I thought I would just close out this vlog and also just kind of like check in with y'all, see how you liked this vlog. I thought I would kind of kick it back old school Wally -E TV style, 
minimal edits, more of just making the video rather than overthinking what I'm posting. I tend to do that a lot. Well, looks like the mechanics are keeping the Jeep until tomorrow, so that's the update. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.